Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Articulated Comic Book Art ACBA Black Tendrils. This is the very first release of their Black Tendrils. So it only came in a little plastic bag. Nothing too official. They got really official with the cutouts. Watch my other reviews. The packaging is really great and everything. I'm not complaining about that. I just wanted to point it out um, that this is a first release, so I'm pretty sure that they didn't do you know, too much extravagant with it. Uh, they only announced it on Instagram at first, but they've now, I guess, had a successful launch, the first one, so they've now released red, black, and gray tendrils, and I'll get to this in just a second. So I got the very first pre-release, I guess you could call them. I can kind of see through the black on some of these that there's a little bit of silver hint in there. Let's see if I can focus on this one. Yeah, right there. So my guess is whoever created these, I'm not sure, uh, found it a way just to cover up some regular wire with some black or red or gray and it works pretty well I like it um, I'm not sure if I keep bending it a lot if the black is eventually going to rub off or break off only time can tell for that one for sure but as of right now they seem to be working really well I'm not showing any signs of breaking off like I, like I showed you just a second ago there are some silver parts showing but it's nothing too drastic or anything to worry about to prevent someone from buying it. They were priced pretty good. I think it was about $10. Shipping was pretty cheap. They're light and they came in a small folder, so nothing too expensive there. I guess I can only show you so much without actually putting them on the figure. This one kind of has like a maybe like a trident form to it. It's pretty neat. The people who ordered these off Instagram when they first did the release, they actually gave us a little freebie here. This is uh, spider webbing for Spider-Man, not a tendril. So you can do that. And then this is uh, really stiff, so you could definitely hang a figure off this and not have it break or not have it bend. I just want to show how the wires actually support the characters very well. That's one of the good things about it. A lot of times people use these little zip ties here. You can get them in packagings. You know, they wrap them around the figure and they twist them like that. But the problem with these is that they're very lightweight and they won't support the characters or the toys, I should say, in the same fashion that these metal wired ones do that ACBA has created. This is free, so I'm not going to complain about it too much, but there is a lot of silver showing in this. I mean, like a lot, which is kind of unfortunate. It was free, like I said, so... Don't count this as a part of the review. So here's the tendrils on my Marvel Select Venom. They look pretty freaking cool. It adds a lot of dynamicness to the figure. Something that they don't include with the actual action figures. And they've created something pretty awesome for collectors and photographers alike. If you want a pair of them, I recommend following their Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description below because that's when they do updates. I'm not sure when the schedule releases of these are. Recently they had a black and red one for sale still, so I'm pretty sure they'll keep them in stock. You can also get updates on when they're going to release uh, ACBA cutouts. But these look really, really cool. There's a lot of things you could do with them. And that's just three of them. I still have three left right here that I can do stuff with or put them on another figure. Other than that, guys, like I said, follow the group. If you want some, you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description below. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace out.